Welcome back to our channel ladies and gentlemen. Now today we want to start with this simple geometry problem. So you've been given two inscribed quarter circles and the yellow semicircle. Then you've been told to find the radius r of the quarter circle. So if we transfer this problem to the whiteboard. Now to find the radius r of the quarter circle, then here we've been given the radius of the semicircle is is 5 meaning from point o to b is also 5 from point a o to a is also 5 any line from the center to the circumference is the radius so for us to get the radius of the quarter circle remember this the quarter circle the radius is r meaning that will also be r r so if we divide this diagram in this manner then what will it implies any line from the center to the circumference of the semicircle is the radius of the semicircle so if from o to this point is 5 then again from o to c is also 5 because it is from the center to the circumference that is the radius 5 which we will given to be 5 now if the quarter circle has the radius of r meaning if this is r then it means this is also r then this will also be r then from this point to this point is also r so if you let this point to be x then you can see from a to x from point a x a to x is r plus r that is 2r then from a to o a o is the radius of the same circle and the radius of the same circle from a to o we've been given to be 5 the radius of the same circle so it means a o is 5 and from a to x is 2r so what about o to x so for you to get the length from o to x then it means it is from a to x minus from a to o so o x is going to be a x then minus from a to x minus a to O. then you get that length ox to be 2r minus 5 because ax is 2r and ao is 5 so it means from o to x is 2r minus 5 now if you look at triangle oxc that triangle oxc is a right angle triangle so if it is a right angle triangle we can use pythagoras theorem and when we know the two shorter sides are a and b then the longer side is the hypotenuse c so according to pythagoras theorem we have c squared is equals to a squared plus b squared so if you do the substitution c is 5 so we are going to get 5 squared is equals to a a is 2r minus 5 that is going to be 2r minus 5 squared then it is plus b squared and our b is r so it is going to be plus r squared so if you do the expansion 5 squared is 25 then 2r minus 5 squared that is a quadratic identity when you have a minus b squared that is normally a squared minus 2ab plus b squared so if you use that here what do we get a squared is going to be 2r squared which is going to be 4r squared minus 2ab that is now going to be 2r times 5 is 10 then times minus 2 is now going to be minus 20r then plus b squared b is 5 so that is going to be plus 25 because 5 squared is 25 then it was plus r squared you add that to r which was there now if you look at this 25 and 25 will cancel out on either side of the equation so this side will remain with 0 to be equal to 4 r squared and plus r squared is going to be 5 r squared then minus then minus 20 r now if you look at this r is a common factor so you have this implies that you have 0 is equals to if you factorize out 5r outside 0 is equals to 5r into here you remain with r minus 4 minus 4 what is the radius r now here if we have 0 is equals to 5r into r minus into r minus 4 so this implies that either 5r is either 5r is equals to 0 or r minus 4 is equals to 0 so when a factor when two factors are equals to zero then it is either the first factor which is zero or the second factor which is zero so from this you'll get r is equals to zero or r minus four is equals to zero you'll get r is equals to four because the radius is there meaning when r is equals to zero the diagram does not exist so our r is equals to four ladies and gentlemen the radius of the quarter circle is four units that is the simplest method to determine the area of the quarter circle thank you for watching and see you again in our next presentation don't forget to subscribe.